Okay, our next speaker is Stanislav Golovinsky. He's the Deputy General Director of Development and the Moscow Office Director for Atomflot. He has lived in the high north for 31 years and has 13 years experience in the sea. He was the technical director for all the nuclear icebreakers before his current position. He is now the leader for the development of a new type of nuclear icebreaker and is part of the Russian state corporation Rosatom. Adam Flott's 10 nuclear icebreakers, five of which are in constant use, work actively in the Arctic region. Their first nuclear icebreaker, the Lenin, is now a museum in Murmansk. On October 15th, their nuclear icebreaker, 50 Years of Victory, will be bringing the Olympic torch to the North Pole along with representatives of every Arctic nation. No, no worries. Thank you. Uh, good day, dear ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for possibility to make a speech in the summit. Thank you. I represent to Atomic Icebreaker Fleet, which is a part of the Russian state corporation Rosatom. Subject of my speech is the Northern Sea Road today and in the future. In the future. Okay, thank you. Uh, nuclear icebreaker have been working in the Arctic. Nuclear icebreaker have been working in the Arctic for 54 years, so we have profound experience of Arctic maritime operation. Uh, today, our atomic icebreaker work actively in the Arctic region where we are constantly present. Uh, Northern Sea Road is to highway to Europe and ASEAN max. I will not be telling you again that the way from Europe to Asia and back on the Northern Sea Road is shorter. The number speak for themselves. Uh, transit navigation at Northern Sea Route is usually carried for our within seven to eight days. With the speed up to 14 knots, that is the world average speed of navigation. Uh, total of transit voyage. Due to general climate change, active transit voyage where Northern Sea Route were starting in 2010. In 2012, transit cargo volume were increased 12 times more. Uh, in this uh, year, increase of 10 or 15 percent is expected also. Information about type and uh, type of cargoes and flag of vessel trans transits via Northern Sea Route is also presentation in the slide. Uh, today, the exit uh, given last year. Today, number of uh, transit voyage 49, uh, total volume to transit cargo 1 million uh, 99 thousand tons. Uh, cargo base for the Northern Sea Road. Our analytics show transit uh, cargo volume increase up to 15 million tons in 2012 and 20. And the general where Northern Road freight traffic up to 40 million tons. Atomic icebreaker fleet of Russia. 
Uh, today, Atomic, Atomic Icebreaker fleet is comprised of, of two types of icebreaker which uh, can operate at, at DSC, Deep Sea, excuse me, Deep Sea and the Siberian rivers. Siberian rivers. One icebreaker constantly is in the sea. Uh, today in the Arctic are uh, ice, nuclear icebreaker Taimir, Taimir, Vaigach, Yimal, and uh, next week uh, icebreaker uh, 50 лет победы, uh, 50 years victory, uh, will be take the Olympic torch, relay and uh, sail to the North Pole. Universal Atom Icebreaker. Last year in the Baltiski shipyard at St. Petersburg, construction of the new Universal Atomic Icebreaker was commenced. Uh, for important, uh, this new type this will work at the deep sea and in the river and break ice up three meters. Thank you for your attention. Look forward uh, to seeing everybody at the Northern Sea route. Thank you.